His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order Number 33 for the year 2015, adjourning the first session of the fourth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Councils, effective as of Tuesday, the 7th of July, 2015. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree Number 48 for the year 2015, appointing Dr. Salah bin Ali Muhammad Abdul Rahman as member of the Supreme Council for Health, with a tenure of which extends to the end of the present Council's term. His Majesty also issued Royal Decree Number 49, appointing Mubarak bin Ahmed Al Fadhil as General Coordinator for Governance at the Ministry of Interior, with the rank of Under Secretary. Royal Decree No. 50 appoints Yusuf Mubarak Al-Arabi and Abdul Razak Jassim Abdullah Salim to the Office of Deputy Premier with the rank of Assistant Under Secretary. His Majesty the King also issued Law No. 9 for the year 2015, approving the arbitration law in consideration of the international conventions in the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister issued Edict 41 for this year, appointing Mr Osama Issa Buhaija as Director of Coordination at the Office of the Deputy Premier. He also issued Edict 42, restructuring the Water Resources Council, chaired by Deputy Premier Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, with the membership of seven ministers for a term of four renewable years. And Edict 43, which stipulates appointing the Minister of Energy as the Minister of EWA and Minister Responsible for the Water Resources Council when dealing with the legislative authorities. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a number of senior state officials at Gudabiya Palace. His Royal Highness said, Technological development has erased borders between countries and people and has made a positive impact on economic, social and political aspects, but also imposed challenges and threats, especially in relation to to terrorism. He noted that the Kingdom of Bahrain succeeded in keeping up with the information revolution, stressing the necessity of employing social media in a way that supports national unity and preserves social fabric. He commended support for information security and confirmed the importance of preserving national security amid rapid technological developments, highlighting that it can be taken advantage of by terrorists. He also hailed the achievements and efforts of officials in the national security field who proactively overcome threats concerning information and national security. The Prime Minister pointed out the government's keenness to reinforce development through establishing strategic and vital projects in line with the government action plan, particularly over the approval of the state's general budget. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabia Palace today the newly appointed Chinese Ambassador to Bahrain, Chi Chen Hong. His Royal Highness confirmed that Bahrain works on reinforcing economic, commercial and investment cooperation with China, which has a strong influence in the international decision-making process. He also highlighted China's political and economic strength in addition to its effective contribution to global peace and security. He said rapid international development and its impact on security of the region and the world require closer cooperation amongst countries. He called on intensifying official visits between Bahrain and China in order to further enhance joint cooperation. The Prime Minister stressed Bahrain is keen to strengthen its relationship with China in all fields, commending the achievements that have been made by the Chinese leadership in the field of economic development. He confirmed that the newly appointed Chinese ambassador will be fully supported to facilitate his diplomatic work in the kingdom. In response, the ambassador said that China looks at Bahrain with admiration for its major developmental leaps led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, saying that Bahrain is an international model for progress. He also confirmed that he will exert more efforts to increase Bahraini-Chinese cooperation in the fields of politics, commerce and the economy.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received the newly appointed Philippines Ambassador to Bahrain, Alfonso Ferdinand Ever, at Gurabia Palace today. His Royal Highness hailed the standing Bahraini Filipino relations at all levels, stressing the Kingdom's keenness to increase the level of cooperation in order to achieve the best interests for both countries. His Royal Highness commended the positive role of the Filipino community in the process of development and construction in the Kingdom. His Royal Highness affirmed that the newly appointed ambassador will get all the support needed in order to facilitate his diplomatic mission. For his part, the Philippines ambassador to the Kingdom expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his keenness to further enhance cooperation and coordination between the two countries and hailed the government's care to the Filipino community in the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudubia Palace today the newly appointed Indian Ambassador to Bahrain, Alok Kumar Sinha. His Royal Highness stressed the historic relations between the Kingdom and India in various fields and affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to enhance its relations with India for its major role played on both regional and international arenas. His Royal Highness also expressed the government's appreciation for the efforts exerted by the Indian community in the development process of the Kingdom. His Royal Highness affirmed that the newly appointed ambassador will get all the support needed in order to facilitate his diplomatic mission. For his part, the Indian ambassador expressed appreciation for the remarkable care of His Royal Highness to the Indian community and affirmed his keenness to improve ways of cooperation between the two countries in various fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, visited the Ramadan Majlis of Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed Al Khalifa yesterday evening. His Royal Highness exchanged with the attendees good wishes on the occasion of Ramadan. He highlighted the importance of Ramadan Majlises, saying that they are parts of Bahrain's culture and heritage and contribute to strengthening cohesion amongst people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also said that Bahrain has been able to foil plots targeting its stability because of its economic development. He added that security and the economy cannot be separated from each other, for the economy needs a safe environment to prosper and security needs a strong economy to underpin its foundations. His Royal Highness also stressed that the economic development strategy adopted by the government was based on partnership between public and private sectors. Sheikh Hamid bin Mohammed, for his part, hailed the keenness of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to meet citizens and inquire about their needs and his efforts to bring more development in various fields.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa also visited yesterday evening the Ramadan Majlis of the Chairman of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Khaled Al Moyed. His Royal Highness praised the role of family businesses in promoting the nation's development and noted the role of the leadership's wisdom in leading the country to safety despite the challenges it faced. His Royal Highness called for investing in the atmosphere of Ramadan in order to enhance unity amongst Bahrainis, which will strengthen the nation's progress. He said the government is determined to carry on with its plans to achieve sustainable development and ensure that government services are upgraded. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also welcomed the acceleration of the economic and investment climate in Bahrain. The BCCI chairman commended and highlighted His Royal Highness's interest in communicating with all segments of the community and motivating them to achieve further national gains. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited today the Majlis of Sheikh Ibrahim bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Majlis of His Majesty the King's Advisor of Media Affairs, Mr. Dabil bin Yaqub Al Hamar. During the Majlis visits, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the commitment of Bahrain citizens to upholding national values that underpin and promote principles of unity and tolerance. His Royal Highness added that under the leadership of His Majesty the King, the Kingdom will continue to ensure the needs and aspirations of all citizens are met in full. His Royal Highness also underlined the important role Bahrain's youth play in driving development and growth in the Kingdom and added that the Kingdom will continue to provide opportunities for all Bahrain's youth to build their creative and innovative skills. For their part, the Majlis hosts and guests expressed their gratitude for His Royal Highness's visit and highlighted His Royal Highness's commitment to his annual Majlis visits during the holy month of Ramadan. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa also accompanied His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on his Majlis visits this evening.
The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, arrived in Las Vegas, Nevada in the United States, accompanied by a number of technical administrative staff and the fighting delegation of the KHK MMA team, which is participating in the 2015 IMMAF World Championships of Amateur MMA. Upon arrival at the airport, His Highness was welcomed by the Vice Ambassador of Bahrain to the United States, Dr. Mohammed Bassad. His Highness hailed the outstanding relations between the Kingdom and the United States in various fields. He also highlighted the importance of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's reform project in the development of the youth and sports sector in the Kingdom. His Highness underlined Bahrain's leadership's keenness to support the youth and sports sector, noting the remarkable contribution of the personal representative of His Majesty the King for charity work and uh, youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in developing this field in the Kingdom. His Highness said that his presence reflects his keenness to support Bahraini youth, especially those who participate in MMA championships and represent the Kingdom of Bahrain in the international arena. The Shura Council held its regular meeting today, chaired by Chairman Ali Al Salah. The meeting approved the draft law of the state's general budget for 2015 through to 2016 in line with the recommendation of the Council's Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs. The meeting agreed on the importance of conducting a comprehensive study to deal with present deficit and pay public debt and loans interest in addition to finding ways to diversify sources of income and set a time frame to implement what will be agreed on by the legislative and executive authorities. The meeting also discussed letters received from the Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Al Mullah which included a draft law in regards to preserving the heritage of pearls and reviving the urban economy in Muharraq.